Hello, this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space channel. I'm recycling uh, or reusing uh, this envelope. This was sent to me uh, when I bought, made a purchase from Amy Cool Ranch Dorito. I'm going to cut off the label. The label is kind of far down, but I'm going to cut this out on this side. I'm going to make this bottom a pouch, and uh, you would ask why I'm cutting just this one side and not cutting straight across. I'm just going to get the label off there as soon as I can, and I'm going to take this top part above the label and cut it off too. So that way I have this piece and I can put something in here. I might even that up, I might not, I might just... Um, Put that around to their side and tape it. But it kind of helps to hold it. Now the rest of this, I am going to take the bottom and I'm going to cut across. And make a pouch. Now this was split over sideways, but it's sealed. So this can be used, actually I could put this like on the inside of a tube or I could lay it flat and that being there only adds to the thickness of it so don't be afraid if you've got a seam like that to leave it in uh, your scraps that you're going to use uh, to help protect uh, or wrap future things that's fine people often seem I've made this little cute little pouch and I put all kinds of stuff down in here uh, when I get lots of jewelry, I might separate uh, the jewelry out that's pink. I have an adult child with autism that does not like pink. They're non-binary. They don't like pink. So, I will take stuff and put pink stuff in here, maybe. That might, and that way, when I go and I'm looking for something for Marty, I know not to look in this envelope if I'm looking for jewelry for Marty. Now, Marty still does wear jewelry, even though they're non-binary. And the thing about being non-binary is you can choose what elements you like out of uh, that's masculine, and you can choose the elements that you like that are feminine. Uh, Marty wears typically t-shirts and blue jeans with a purse. Um, there's lots of ladies that wear t-shirts and blue jeans, but for the last 10 years, Ever since people decided to badmouth Serena Williams because she was too masculine. Remember that? <laughs> Please, people. Uh, that's not okay. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons um, young people are deciding to be non-binary. Because the politics around gender have been horrible for quite some time. And what does it matter? Serena Williams is a wonderful person owns her own business and not several businesses and is a tennis star and as it has been she's world class and people are criticizing her because she's too athletic well duh she's an athlete she's going to be muscular <laughs> if she wasn't she wouldn't win all those tennis games now would she <laughs> i haven't followed her career i don't know what's going on there is a little date on here which is fun I think this is July 2nd but anyway um, so I make these little pouches out of the envelopes I know a lot of you send me envelopes that are already being reused and recycled and I thank you so much for that but don't think that you when you're packing up my stuff that you have to wait until you get a, a recycled envelope if you send me a new, new beautiful envelope like Amy did then I have the opportunity to recycle it so, um, most of, and most of the time I do. So sometimes I'll get like a box full of this stuff. And since I don't mail that much stuff out, cause I don't resell, I just buy, um, I, uh, and I give to charity. I will sometimes get a whole box of, um, shipping materials and shipping materials are expensive and I'll donate that. I'll put on it shipping materials and it'll be packaged up so they can just resell the box. I hope they're doing that. I don't really know. 
I did give uh, one uh, a, a bunch of boxes and envelopes and stuff to a friend that resells. But then she treated me like a doormat. <laughs> I don't uh, hang around people that uh, just take advantage of me. And um, when they are going to give me something back, they treat it like, you know, how people would put a carrot on a stick in front of the nose of the donkey. And they always be trying to get that carrot that they were promised. Uh, if you have friends like that, they're not friends because I just freely give to people. And if they don't freely give to me back or if, or better yet, they don't even say they're going to do something for me. I like person that doesn't say they're going to do something for me, that this does something for me. There's people out there that promise you they're going to do this and that. And then before you know it, you've done them three favors or four or endless amounts of favors, and they've done nothing for you. But And they've said they were going to do something for you. I can't hold it against somebody that said never says, oh, I'm going to do this or that for you. After a while, if I'm giving to someone and they don't give something back or I don't have a purpose or calling in my heart to continue to give to them, sometimes God wants us to give things to people that are never, ever, ever going to do anything back for us. But if you've got a person that then says, oh, I'm going to do this for you, I'm going to do that for you. And, you know, they think that they have to promise you something because you've given them something and then they don't follow through. You stay away from that person. <laughs> Stop giving to them. Stop having, letting them have any amount of control in your life. But um, so that person will no longer get bubble wrap for me. Um, which is okay because it's her business and she can buy her own bubble wrap, right? <laughs> but anyway, um, I have also this bag. I love these bags. This came from Rita, the Buddha chick. God wants us to be generous, but God does not want us to be a doormat. The same. So now I have this pouch, beautiful color pouch, to put stuff in. So I have that to organize with. I have this to ship with if I ship. Okay, and here we have an envelope from someone that is a beautiful blue envelope, but they put their their um, shipping sticker took up the entire back side. And this isn't kind of it doesn't have bubble wrap in it. What was sent didn't need to be protected. It was ephemerish. Okay, so I cut down that side. This side's already open because it's been cut. Now it has a label on the other side that takes up the entire side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this out and I'm going to cut here on the other side because I don't mind having that crease there. Now I could have made a little tiny pouch with this. Now I'm not going to bother cutting along the sides of uh, the label and around the top. I could do that too. You could do that too if you want. There are certain parts of the uh, label that make it stiff that don't have any address information on it. You could also do that. Uh, this morning I'm not doing that. I've got uh, an abundance. Oh, that's that label. Here is another envelope, and this has tape across it and has a label on this side. So, to save time, I am going to cut off the label on this side and also to protect this person's address because they don't uh, have a post office box. And there's just a little tiny amount above the label, so that's going to go away. And put that in this pile for shredding. And then I'm going to cut this across and make a pouch. I have a bunch of little stuff around here from my boxings. I have like these pendants. 
So I'm going to put them in here. And that way I have this stored. I have a lot of uh, little bags around and most of my um, stuff ends up uh, in uh, clear bags. But uh, this, I can put something in it. Or actually, like if I'm mailing a coffee cup or glass and I need something to fill in. So you can put this around a handle. I don't happen to have a handle um, near me. I don't have a coffee cup near me. Um, but you can put this, if you've got a small handle, you can put this and other papers in. And then you can wrap this around the cup and tape it on the other side. And you could use this to hold the bowl wrap in the handle. Um, depends upon the size of the coffee cup. If you're okay with taping on the side of the coffee cup, like it's you're not taping on a design, you don't want to do that. Um, you could tape this, you know, individually, each side a little far apart from each other. And you'd be okay with doing that. <clears throat> but you want to, when you're mailing a coffee cup, you want to stuff the handle uh, with bubble wrap. And that kind of operation you can uh, use recycle bubble wrap. Um, I've talked about that, you know, when you send me stuff, I want recycled items. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. I don't want it delaying what I'm receiving. Uh, and I will recycle what you send me. But, you know, you roll this up. You put it through your coffee cup handle, and then you take this and take it around the cup completely, or just partially around the cup and tape it. Uh, also, another thing you want to do, let me see if I can find a piece of cardboard. Now, this you're not supposed to use. If uh, you're not paying priority postage, but this has clearly already been used, so I can recycle it at this point. Actually, I wouldn't feel comfortable sending this in a package, even though it's been used once for its purpose. Uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable sending this without it unless I'm sending priority mail. And if you're mailing glass, it's a good idea to send it priority mail. Just saying. Okay. Because you get insurance. And you take this on the outside. You've got this on the inside of your handle. And on the outside, you put this on the outside of the handle and tape it to this part or if you're just using bubble wrap without this I tape it on there and you can make a huge piece of cardboard that's just the right size of your handle and take it or you know like two to three times as big as this depending upon the size of the cup and um, put the cardboard all the way around the cup too but I would put bubble wrap underneath that cardboard but uh, that's uh, the things I keep in mind when I'm recycling. I'm not planning on shipping out cups or anything yet. Actually, this is, I could have taken this and used this for storage. Although, I don't like to use priority materials in storage. And you can't recycle these for uh shipping unless you're playing priority so the glass you do want to send it priority or better so uh, i would have no problem with receiving uh, scraps from priority packages and envelopes and packages that are being mailed priority but you know if this isn't being mailed priority i just use regular cardboard so I actually am just going to, since I can't put this in my recycle bin uh, and I don't ship all that much, 
I am just I am going to just trash this. Um, if you all have recycling ideas for these that uh, aren't troublesome <laughs> with post office and that would make your packages illegal, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Of course, you know, like I said, if you're sending it priority already, then that's fine. But I don't ship enough, and I usually don't ship priority. Although it is good with things that you want to ensure that are valuable. So I have other scraps over here. Well, that's from my, the one that I just started with. And I get quite a bit of tissue paper. And some of it is ripped and some of it's not. There's tape on this end. With tissue paper, oh, that's the other thing I was going to say. With some customers, you can absolutely positively have to use new materials. Um, I had a subscriber one time that came back and told me, oh, I did what you said, and my customer said to me, why are you sending my product with garbage? So some people do not appreciate when you reuse things. So, and it's your professional reputation. So if you have clients that are not appreciative of that, like, yes, this is wrinkled, but yes, I could take this, if, even if I'm not putting it, um, presenting something with inside of it, um, I can take this wadded up and put it down in the corner of a box to take up that corner airspace. So uh, things don't move around in the package. So you can use it like that too. And I have. I've used to, I remember one of my Vietnam veteran donations. I had glass in the box. And I didn't want it moved. So I took my quote unquote garbage pieces. Which like this wrinkled tissue paper. And I filled the corners with it. So that uh, there wouldn't be any uh, movement in the box. And the people at the donation center probably appreciated that um, I packed things so that they wouldn't break. And it's hold the ideas to get it there safely. I had a donation one time. Then I told my neighbor I was making a donation, and they came over and put their stuff out there. But while they were putting their stuff out there, they dropped a glass of my dishes on the driveway and broke them. And the box rattled. It was horrible. I just cringed. The uh, donation center didn't say anything to me about it. I think they know that I tried my best to... Um, give everything to them in the best condition that I can. I can. Uh, of course, a third party came along and broke the dishes because they dropped the box. It was three boxes high and they dropped the box on the driveway putting their stuff on top. And to me, that kind of thing's tragic. I have a uh, discouraging moments when I'm trying to be giving and that makes me not want to give as much but I pray about it and overcome it and I'll do the best I can to move on. I also try to buy from the reseller community and when there's backstabbing and drama that is discouraging to me to continue to support small businesses. So if you're out there and somebody is talking bad about uh, one of your customers, uh, even if you agree, you know, because I'm not a perfect person, even if you agree with what they, they're saying, you say, you know, we really shouldn't talk about people that way. But also, um, that person, and this has happened to me several times, doesn't feel like supporting anyone anymore. Now this is, you know, I may create an envelope. It's not perfect. I have this little place over here that stuff could be put in this. 
you might want to take these corners down and then you fold it over and you've got a little plastic envelope uh, if you've got like a chain you're mailing or necklace with a chain and you don't want to it's the only thing in your shipment that might be prob problematic or get tangled up or it's a little bit more expensive than the other pieces I, I really do recommend you wrap each individual piece and uh, but if you don't and but you've got one that's a thin chain or something like that something like this would be perfect for that and you know it is crumbled a little bit but they won't know that that didn't happen shipping <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut this angularly so this uh, inside part does not show just like uh, envelopes are angled at the corner because they don't come up to the straight edge and that way it doesn't show there's a date written here but I'm not going to shorten the envelope to get rid of that date because it's going to be taped over anyway so when they open this they'll probably and you know the tape is going to go probably all the way down the edge and they're going to open this either here or here or here or they're going to rip into it but that tape is going to be at a place that that date that's written on this envelope is not going to show so things don't have to be perfect especially if you've got customers that are hip to the fact that you recycle because you care about the planet or you're just trying to save money Either way, it works. It keeps more stuff out of the landfill. As you can see, I'm practical about this. I don't save every little solitary scrap. Um, if I was actually reselling, I might. Because, you know, those little scraps can be used. Uh, you just have to make sure that it doesn't end up looking like garbage and you do the best you can with that. But if you have customers that maybe even buy from you because they know that you're trying to be green with your small business actually that might be helpful <laughs> so you all have a wonderful and blessed day and use your resources wisely uh, that's one of the uh, themes that the Girl Scouts use oh good this is completely without a label so I can just cut this down to where I'm taking the torn pieces off and I've got like a brand new bag and this can be have product put in it and put a label on it and be shipped so you all have a wonderful and blessed day and please be kind to our planet and remember that it's God-given <laughs>